Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ireland, welcome to Dublin Airport. The time here is five minutes past five. Just left our hotel room. Um, trying to figure out what time the bus comes. It's a little windy. What time is it? Um, I know it's probably like 10:30. Or no, almost 11. I don't know. So when's the next one? Looks like there's one at 10:55. 1036, it's not bad. Well, we just got off the bus. We're trying to find the entrance to the kids' storehouse. And we just decided to walk up this alley because I don't know, we don't really know where it is. So here we are. And that's the storehouse. We just don't know where the entrance is, but maybe those people might. You know. <laughs> Because they seem like they're kind of heading there, but I don't know. We shall see. It's very factory-like. Very old and factory-like. Guinness!
are a lot of talking pictures. Let's go look at one. Let's go talk to this guy. Look at this guy. What she do? She just keeps like pulling and like picking up the thing. Uh, we should go with this thing. Thank you. 
important. So we have our four point columns here, which you would have noticed around this part. Each of them admit a different. And ladies and gentlemen, the partners this year chasing in this room. And bring your guests with you, Jamie, to no partners. Here's an old bonus map, and then you into the second room. So as you arrive through, you'll notice a much different setting from the other. So we picked the time period for this room. So it's set to look like the 1700s, and that would have been Arthur Guinness's time. There are people behind you can come in. There's plenty of room in the centre here, and um, because the door will close. So make sure you come right in at the back there. We're going to get to take a nice deep breath, and then go take a good mouthful of beer. Take your time in this, there's no rush. Swirl it around, and when you're ready, swallow, and then slowly start to breathe out through your nose. As you do, the flavors become very apparent. The first one of the colors falls at the back of your throat, under your jawline, is the bitterness from the hops. In the middle, you get the roast. It's very easy to spot there on either side of your tongue. And then from the back to the front, this natural sweetness, blending it all together with the smooth texture of the nitrogen, gives you a very smooth finish to the beer. So that's the official way to taste Guinness. But as I said, it's something you can try with all beers. So for your first mouthful of a new beer, try that technique. It'll bring out all the flavors properly. It's perfect, nice little technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the light while you're finishing your samples. Back in the room, you'll see the portrait of Arthur Guinness.
didn't want to feel worse. So, whatever, you're supposed to drink more to feel better. I don't know. So, we found a place called St. Catherine's Cathedral. Just decided to just stop by and see what it is. It's kind of it's cute, small. Nice place. Okay, we'll just go back now. Very nice lady. Offered sure. to take our picture. And then told us to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we kept our cameras too. Yeah. St. Mary's. And then it's surrounded by all these shops. Which is kind of weird to have like a really old cathedral surrounded by like shops like these. <laughs> Found it. Um, next stop, Grafton Street. So, what street are we on? Hold on, we gotta check the map. So we are, we're right here. Alright, we can just go around. I want to see the water. So let's go oh, so should we just like kind yeah. of, Left. kind of swivel through? Yeah. Okay. Look at this house. <laughs> Central Park. <laughs> She's looking at a leaf. Like, what the heck? Oh, man, see, that's oh look at the sky. 
Dang. Way to go, guy. I want to practice. This place is beautiful. This place is beautiful. Swans and a lake. There's even a bridge over there. Wait, hold on. There's a bridge. Hi, people. That swan is so fluffy. Yeah, let me show you. You don't. They're so cool. It's just like swimming around. See? Fluffy swan. Give my thumbs. Okay, this spot is pretty. They should put like a bench here so you can just watch. I know, we'd stay here and just picnic for a bit. There's a lot of people here today. Like a lot. There's a really cool ocean in the back. There's a lot of people. Live music. If you're ever going to pass, I feel like it's very New York esque. Oh, yeah, this, like, yeah, this, this is where and, like, like Central Park would be. Like, Gossip Girl style. Is this what <laughs> Joe said was like bigger than Central Park? This is not bigger than Central Park. I know, that's why I'm just like, which park did he say? He's probably talking about Phoenix Park. Oh. Uh... But yeah, it's actually like really nice. Oh, we were gonna go up this street. There is a guy across the street doing some tricks with torch flames. It's like a shopping center. <laughs>
<laughs> Yummy, five medium chicken wings and garlic bread, mushroom, pita or pita. So we are leaving Phoenix Park. There's not really a lot to do because the park so you just kind of walk around, but it's huge. Now we're going to figure out how to find a bus. There's Phoenix Park. Our bus stop is, but we did find this like really nice looking place. I don't know what it is, but it's super nice. Um, I'm hoping it's this one up here, <laughs> or else we're gonna have to walk all the way back to the city center. We don't really want to do that because we're kind of tired and it's getting a little late, so we'll see. 